Hello everyone. Kind of a private person. I haven't uh, really put videos of myself on YouTube before. Um, I'm certainly not one to go out there and preach on a lot of different things to the world. But uh, this time it's a little different. This is a video I'm kind of winging, doing off the cuff if you will. Um, but its message is really about love and hope. So to make a long story short and save everyone some time, but to kind of fill you in on the why of this, um, in April 2001, I had surgery for a malignant melanoma that was on the left side of my head, and it was the nodular type, which is the most invasive, meaning it grows down versus out, and I was a stage 2B as in boy. They said that it didn't spread, they got it all, everything was clear, and it was that way for 12 years. And then in July of 2013, I went to the doctor, they ran some tests and so forth, and they found some tumors on my liver, um, only in my liver, and they said I had stage 4 localized metastatic malignant melanoma, meaning localized because it's only in the liver, metastatic because they said it basically spread from the original site 12 years ago, laid dormant in the lymph nodes, and then just suddenly, for whatever reason, 12 years later, blew up all active all over my kidney, and only in my kidney, uh, which is kind of par for the course for melanoma. It does a lot of weird things, which I won't really get into because it's outside the scope of this video, um, but it will go to the liver, kidneys, lungs, and then brain. Uh, fortunate for you, fortunately for me, it is only in the liver, if you can call that fortunate. Uh, I am doing some treatments for it, and hopefully those will be reduced. Um, I should find out at the end of my next uh, cycle. So, that's kind of the background on why. Now, when I was told that it had metastasized or spread, uh, they said I had 6 to 12 months to live, which is interesting. Um, life is terminal. We're all dying. We're not getting out of here alive. And none of us have an expiration date stamped on the bottom of our feet. So I take it with a grain of salt because the first time around I had a 30 to 35 percent chance of surviving it. This time it's 10 to 20 percent of the people will um, live five years or more. I have heard of people who have had liver metastasis such as myself and have lived six to nine years. I'm not so much worried about the quantity of life as I am the quality of life. The quality of life is primary and the quantity is secondary. So as I started out this video is about love and hope. So it is my hope that I will have that quality of life and quantity of life for whatever time I have left. Um, there is no cure for melanoma. It is a chronic condition. Hopefully I can keep this beast at bay and uh, live as long as I possibly can with a good quality of, of life. That's really the, the goal as far as the disease is concerned. I don't give a lot of credence to the doctor's prognosis. They've been wrong. They're certainly not gods. Um, and maybe they're right. You know, maybe that is the average. Maybe that's really what I have, and so be it. Maybe I'll live a couple years longer, but I'm not going to subscribe to that and give power to that and say I'm a dead man in April 2014, you know, and I'm going to expire. I may live longer. Uh, again, it's about the quality. I know I keep going back to that. But that really is what matters, is, is the quality. And part of quality, getting back to what I said about this being about love and hope, is that while I've covered the hope part of it, the love part of it is the more important part. I've always been there for my family and friends, and really 100% of my time is now about that. It's it's not so much about money or job or benefits. Yes, those things are important. I want to maintain my house and my standard of living and my things and 
of course, but none of them are important. I've given a lot of things away that uh, I don't really use or need. It's kind of freeing, actually. Um, a lot of stuff I've held on to, but in the end, it's it's more about connecting with people and and giving to them. It's about being with your family and friends and love and those are the things that while I've always had that in the forefront of my mind there's always been that well this is what I did yesterday this is what I hope to do tomorrow this is what I'm going to do today type of living versus living in the present moment of the now and really just being about family and friends and loving and forgiving and being forgived and things of that nature kind of uh, a higher focus if you will more of a idealistic way to live not so much um, you know being in the world but not of it so to speak looking I don't know I haven't really thought this out I'm kind of winging it I'm I hope you get what I'm getting at. I'm sure you do. You're intelligent people. Um, but my message is love and be loved and forgive and be forgiven. Both of yourself and others. Both of those things. Don't say that if I had more money, if I only had this job, if I only had this or that, um, that I'll be happy because happiness is a choice and all you have is the present moment of now. A, a good saying I once read that makes a lot of sense is yesterday is a cash check, tomorrow is a promissory note, today is cash, spend it wisely. And I think there's wisdom in that. Um, tell people you love them, be with them, spend time with them, time is your most valuable and very finite resource that you can always make more money but can you make more time to my knowledge I can't if you can please tell me how I would love to know but to my knowledge you can't make more time you can only make more money buy more things uh, accrue crap that you're gonna give away at the end of your life anyway whether you're 90 or 9 uh, those things don't matter so Invest in yourself, invest in others, and what I see a lot in today's society is we've kind of become what I call the society of the disconnected. We're so connected in ways of technology with texting and Facebook and uh, MySpace, if people still use that, and other social media websites and we have 49,000 friends and none of them will hold our hair while we puke or very few will so what we're looking for is depth and love and meaning and beyond just conversation we're looking for that connection and you will not find that online you need to disconnect from the internet and connect into people um, the internet's fine. I use Facebook. I use social media. But, you know, I have a close circle of family and friends, and that's what's really there for me. And that's important. You know, use your social media, but realize it's a tool. Don't be a slave to it. Don't sit at a table at lunch with three other people all face down in your iPhones texting a thousand other people. Uh, being busy at doing nothing of consequence and ignoring the people you're sitting with that's just plain stupid I mean I'm not gonna sugarcoat that that's just plain idiocy because um, when your time comes you're not gonna wish you texted more or worked more or uh, made more money you're gonna remember the vacations you took the uh, intangibles in life are gonna mean the most to you it's going to be about love, it's going to be about family, it's going to be about friends, it's going to be about memories of vacations and experiences and all the things that you cannot hold in your hand but only in your heart and soul. That's what's going to matter most. And I implore you to 
take my advice and heed the warning and live your life in the present moment from a place of love and hope both for yourself and for others and to share this message with them and your own message as well and to live a life of quality while you have it because none of us are getting out of here alive none of us have a guarantee of a tomorrow and I could very well get shot or run over or some other thing and die before this cancer takes me out um, which I believe one day it will do I, I hope to put that off as long as possible but while I'm here I'm going to live from that that place of hope and love and it's it's my message of hope and love that you do the same take care